West Point has a mystique about it that, uh, that, that people all around the world know the words West Point. It connotes leadership. Graduates of West Point have a very common bond. And when we leave here, when we leave West Point, we never really leave it. It's forever in our heart. And we're forever tied to it. Well, I'm very close to West Point. I consider myself a part of West Point, or West Point part of me, uh, for, for sure. This is the United States Military Academy with so much history. And there is so much grandeur surrounding West Point, and people really expect the Thayer Hotel, sitting right here at the doorstep of the Academy, to be representative of that. This is the only full-service hotel on any military base in all of the world. And we recognize that we have a very large mission and a, a very large obligation to the public to ensure that when they come here to West Point, that they have a West Point-like experience. I'm Rick Minicozzi. Welcome to the historic Thayer Hotel at West Point. Over the last six years, I've had the privilege of being part of a team focused on revitalizing this historic hotel that has been on these hallowed grounds for the last 90 years. West Point in and of itself is certainly a world-class destination. The Hudson Valley is in fact a world-class destination. Recently named by National Geographic as one of the top 20 places in the world to visit. And we have the great fortune of having our hotel here in this unbelievable venue. And our mission is to support those who come to visit West Point. When you walk through that lobby door, the very first thing that you see hanging is a lantern that is from the original West Point Hotel here, uh, which was about a mile down the road from here. And of course, this hotel was built in 1925. They broke ground in 1926. It was open to the public. So when you come into the lobby, you see the beautiful old lanterns that are hanging. There's a gorgeous fireplace. There's a picture of uh, Sylvanus Thayer, who's the father of West Point. We also have plaques in the lobby that talk about duty on our country and talk about some of the iconic things that make West Point West Point. You know, our motto is make history. So when you come to the historic Thayer Hotel at West Point, we want you to make history with the accommodations that are more up to date that travelers would expect to have those, you know, modern technologies and conveniences. Meanwhile, you have the furniture and the historic artwork and historic pieces in the hotel as the backdrop. And we do that by setting this beautiful gothic style military architecture. Because West Point deserves a first class facility for people to stay in while they're here because it's an icon and it had been run down. My real entry point into the Thayer Hotel was in 2008. And that was when I received a call that the Thayer Hotel was looking for a new partner. They were looking for somebody to come and get more involved in the hotel. When the hotel was privatized in 1991, I was one of the guarantors of some of the debt that was taken on. When my business partner Rick Minicozzi and I uh, started talking about uh, revitalizing the hotel and raising money for it, uh, I became part of a five-person group to do that. The hotel's gone through a drastic change since 2009. Uh, all for the better. Rick had to lead the effort not only to physically improve the hotel, but also to change the entire business model, change the service levels, and change the attitude. And that was really a leadership challenge right from the start. Since five to six years ago, we've done, you know, our, our new ownership team, our new ownership group had, had made massive, massive improvements. Things come into fruition and, and seeing things happen and the excitement around the building, you know, it kind of I think people see that and, 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 and guys get excited about it. And with the new management coming in about six years ago, completely changed the morale. Made me really feel like I was part of this family, not only the fair, but West Point and what it stood for. I know it's all of our mission. Our mission is to be the world's premier destination for leadership development and unforgettable social events. So that's what I'm here for. And my job is operations to make sure that happens. And we needed to improve the, uh, the occupancy of the hotel, and that's why we stood up as a separate entity, the Thayer Leader Development Group. And so the idea was that West Point 
is known for leadership. It's a, the greatest leadership institute in the world, training cadets who go on to lead armies, go, go on to lead corporations, and have made such an impact on, on not only the United States Army, but on the United States as, and the world as a whole. So this room is one of the hubs for where Thayer Leader Development Group performs its leadership experiences. And the Thayer Leader Development Group uh, was founded in 2010 and focuses on academic excellence coupled with experiential learning that reinforces what happens in the classroom. And then there are senior course advisors or mentors that embed themselves in the program. And they're the go-to people for the participants to leverage the experience and get a deeper understanding of how the military concepts taught both in the classroom and out in the field actually apply back to their workplace. And we're proud to say that after five years, we have trained over 400 corporate clients. Over 18,000 executives have come through our program. Um, they've not only learned the principles of leadership taught at West Point, but they've seen the beauty and the grandeur of West Point in the Thayer Hotel. We are, we are geared to anyone who uh, wants to come here and appreciate what the area has to offer, whether it is shopping, or cultural, historical. Uh, we recently counted 25 main attractions uh, within uh, 20 minutes distance from the hotel. Only five minutes away from here is the West Point Golf Course, which is an absolutely beautiful walk through American military history. It's a Robert Trent Jones course that was built just after World War II, and each of the holes has a beautiful granite monument that represents each of the 18 military campaigns that our country has fought. And so it has a narrative of what the, what the campaign was about, who the West Point graduates were who were in command, who the Medal of Honor recipients were for each of those battles. It's an absolutely wonderful experience. With so many people coming from all over the world, so, you know, 100,000 people visiting our property every year. And so I work with my team to make sure that they feel empowered. Being here, walking the property, sharing with them my vision, asking them for their input. And we nominate employees who have gone above and beyond to meet our values and our mission and to deliver an excellent customer experience to really create memorable moments for our guests that come through here. So once a month we get together and we celebrate those employees that really are living up to the standards and exceeding the expectations of our guests. And what's neat about the Star Awards program is that the employees are given one stars through five stars, similar to general officers in the Army. When we started our revitalization of the hotel in 2010, there was no sense of the fact that we were at West Point. And so we have spaces here in the hotel named after great generals. Our restaurant is called MacArthur's, uh, after General MacArthur. And when you go in there, you see all sorts of MacArthur memorabilia. Let's open to the public seven days a week. You know, we have all three meals, seven days. You know, we're, we're very well known for a secret buffets on Fridays. Our world renowned uh, Sunday brunch. Many, many cadets would come here to celebrate and enjoy the Sunday brunch here at the Thayer. Their parents would visit from their home states and they would grab some of their friends and they'd come here to Thayer. It is, it's very extensive. Uh, gosh, we have a stage, we have a carving station that we usually do a prime rib or a strip loin. We have an omelet station. We'll do some waffles made to order with some banana fosters over the top of it. You know, we got a big display of seafood. Um, we'll probably go through probably four or five hundred pounds of shrimp. Yeah, it's a good team effort. I'm lucky to have a good, uh, good group of guys and girls in the kitchen that, that do a great job. I'm a server here in the MacArthur's restaurants, and I am the third generation of my family. Uh, my mother is a current bartender in banquets. My grandmother is the hostess here at the MacArthur's restaurants. My grandmother had her wedding here when I was just a child, maybe not even a year old. Well, we have a brand new carpet, brand new chairs. Um, we have the patio now open, it's beautiful. We enjoy it so much, we have the view. And the great view behind us of the Hudson River. The view is just spectacular. When the sun rises and just bounces off the river, it's just like crystals all across the waves. It's just amazing. 
our common spaces where we have our, our social functions and where corporate meetings are held are in the names of our five-star generals like General Eisenhower and Omar Bradley and General of the Army's Pershing. We have our Patton's Tavern, which is a great place to grab some food and have some drinks. We then extend that room dedication program into the guest rooms for a very unique guest experience. Each of our 151 guest rooms is named after an inspirational graduate. It's a complete spectrum of those folks who in one way or another have led the way and accomplished greatness that cause other young men and women to say, that's something that I would like to be one day, and that's what I aspire to be, and follow in their footsteps towards greatness. What an absolutely incredible venue behind me and here on this lawn to have your wedding. We, have, we do so many weddings here. For that we have uh, specialists that uh, know what the brides are looking for. So we'll assign a catering sales manager who is a specialist in communicating features that we offer and those experiences that we offer for weddings. We do a lot of other social events like Sweet Sixteens and proms. We have our, our, a very hip happening Zulu Time Lounge, which is an outdoor barn lounge uh, that was uh, launched about five, six years ago. The name Zulu Time is another way that we try to integrate the military concepts and what were the revitalization of the hotel. And so at the bar here at Zulu Time, we have 12 clocks displayed, and each of the 12 clocks captures a time zone. Our saying here is it's always five o'clock somewhere, so have a cocktail at Zulu time. So when you talk about having the perfect venue, this is absolutely it. And going through the hotel, our guests and visitors can really see the story of West Point, of our hotel, and really of our nation. Our path is, is clear. We know exactly what we want to do. We know exactly what we want to deliver. And we're working on it every single day. It's the Thayer Hotel at West Point. <laughs>